The city of St. Charles spent many months struggling with rising COVID cases and Main Street gone wild. But now there's been quite the turnaround. Fox 2's Elliot Davis heads back to St. Charles for tonight's You Paid For It. Mayor Dan Borgmeyer says he's heartened by what he's now seeing in St. Charles. That's in stark contrast to the scene months ago in places like Main Street. St. Louis City and County have helped by relaxing some of their restrictions. Took a lot of the pressure off of us, that's right. Now people can stay in St. Louis City, they can stay in the county and enjoy their local things rather than come to St. Charles. It was, it was almost strictly a matter of overwhelming population or overwhelming participants in the city. The mayor says crowds that normally numbered around 3,000 had swelled on certain nights to six and 7,000 people out on Main Street late at night. That fueled fights and violence and came to a head with a shooting death behind a bar in late December. They ended up having to call in police from neighboring areas in St. Charles County. The city banned establishments from holding nightclub-like activities like live entertainment and dancing. As of today, it seems like it's paid off. We invoked a nightclub uh, prohibition, which is very effective. For six weeks now that it's been in effect, we've not had major incidents in the city. It was effective. Uh, that, that part of the evening, the, between 11 o'clock at night and 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning, is when all the problems were taking place, and it stopped that. The mayor talks about progress on another front, the fight against COVID. The current positivity rate is 6.8%. That compares to 9.7% in March and a stunning 25% positivity rate in January, a long way down. I think we're doing pretty well. For the fact that we stayed open as opposed to St. Louis City and County, I think we're doing very well. Our infections are higher. We're getting more COVID positive cases, but the fact of the matter is it's driven primarily by that 20 to 30 group that's not quite as concerned as the older population, but in terms of deaths and in terms of hospitalizations, our numbers are better than anybody in the state. But one thing St. Charles took a pass on. What made you not mandate masks? Couldn't enforce it. I mean, every time somebody goes into a quick trip or a, another convenience store, I can't run a cop over and arrest them. The mayor says even though the city didn't implement a mass mandate, he did work closely with the Chamber of Commerce that got its members to require masks as well as social distancing. As for the ban on nightclubs, he doesn't know when that's going to end. He just said things are peaceful for now. He wants it to stay that way. Of course, I'll stay on top of this deal. After all, you paid for it.